Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, so today I am going to be redoing, rerouting some hydraulic steering lines for uh, my outboard. Um, originally, the guy who had the boat last had all of the lines ran through the rigging tube or where this is, this hole is now for the rigging tube out and they connected to where they're at now um, I wanted to clean this up so I put a new rigging tube as you can see and I temporarily ran the hydraulic steering lines out from this hatch over to the ram but I'm gonna clean this up and by doing and, and in doing so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install this through hole fitting or this uh, end of this bulkhead here and uh, I got this from a company called CP Performance uh, online. I'll leave the link in the description below. But my plan is to put this right about here and use some reusable hydraulic steering lines, or excuse me, reusable hydraulic fittings. These guys. So I'm gonna have to go and have uh, new steering lines made. Because I think the steering lines themselves are in good shape. Um, I ordered some new hydraulic line, but unfortunately it's far too big to fit these fittings. And these things were expensive. 18 bucks per fitting. And I found them for like $25 at other places per fitting. So I had to buy six. It wasn't cheap. Anyway. Um, so we're going to get started. Uh, first thing I'm going to have to do is mark an area out for right here. That's going to be, it's uh, my through hole fitting right here. It's new home. And uh, start drilling that out. So uh, here we go. All right, so I have my two um, holes where I want to drill them marked right here and here. And I'm going to use an inch and three quarter uh, hole saw to make my make my holes um, I think this requires a little bit smaller uh, Hole saw but I obviously just don't have one and I really don't feel like going to the hardware store and buying one just for this uh, So this will work fine um, A lot of these measurements they want you to use are millimeters because this thing I guess is made in Italy It's expensive enough it Probably is um, certainly was not Chinese, that's for sure. Um, it was, uh, yeah, pretty sure it was Italian. Anyway, uh, here we go. Uh, I'm going to start drilling this. Just like that, we are through. Didn't do as much tearing up damage as I thought. So, we'll keep on proceeding. That may have been a little aggressive. But oh well. Let me fit this up right here. And that looks like that's going to work really good. Perfect. All right. Go ahead and clean up our uh, fiberglass mess here and uh, start taking these uh, hydraulic lines off, cutting them, and routing them through here. Well, before that, we actually got to drill some holes that this thing's going to screw onto, so I don't have to do this when everything's in here. Thank you. 
what I think I'll do is I'll go ahead and make some cuts on these lines right about here, give myself enough room. And I got plenty of room to get back to the outboard itself uh, with the same lines. Um, go ahead and get those cut and uh, get these things made up. All right, so I never used or even built hydraulic lines before for that matter. Um, but I did one and I'll show you how I did this. Um, actually, once I figured it out, it wasn't that hard. Uh, first thing I was going to do or I did was I took a razor blade and just made a nice even cut across the tube or across the hose. As such. All right. Now I'm going to put the, I put this mine in the device in this vice to be able to hold it because it was just not be able to control this by me holding it. So take your fitting, unscrew it off of this, unscrew it from this as such. It's a side. Got a little bit of just whatever used motor oil to kind of lube this up some so it's not going in there dry and really risk ripping it because this is the only hydraulic line I have that's going to actually work. Um, then you put your end piece here into it and it's basically you have to screw it in on backwards just like this. And mine, these are 5 8 so you just send her on down. Try to do the best you can to keep it nice and even. That's not even going in. And then now it's, I got it far enough towards bottomed out. So all we have to do now is put this back down into here. And this is a 5 eighths also. So I use one wrench to back this up and the other wrench to um, obviously tighten this down. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'll put a little bit of motor oil on here just to keep it, uh, keep it lubed up, make it go in nice and easy. All right, and that is how that is made, and that took less than five minutes. Um, so I got to do that for the rest of the four, and then we'll be ready to install everything. All right, guys, so all the fittings are made and back on, so I went ahead and took uh, the, the housing here and uh, put everything back on. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up the helm and start bleeding this out. And uh, after that, we'll start buttoning everything up, making sure we don't have any leaks, and uh, go from there. All right, uh, it is now the next day. Uh, got a little sidetracked last night, and I didn't really get to film me putting this back together. But um, it's 
really wasn't that big of a deal to put everything back together. Uh, basically screwing this in, uh, putting these lines back on, and bleeding the system, which was actually really simple to do. Uh, for my system, I have an older Moore's Control, and basically all you do is keep this reservoir full and turn it you know to the left or to the right and open up the bleeder valves and just let everything bleed out and just continuously turn it until all the air is pushed out actually i've come back this morning and keep turning it to the left to get more air out but she's good to go she works really well as you can see that's a lot smoother than what it was so i'm very happy about that um so yeah, that's it for this one. Um, don't know what I'm gonna be able to film next. I think the thing I'm gonna get to do is polish this boat up because now I think she's ready for the water. So. All right, well, thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe.